Hey Vinyl community, this is Tim with the University of Vinyl, back with a new video today and I'm going to be continuing with my great sounding albums that are fairly easy to find out in the marketplace and they all sound fantastic. These are not audiophile pressings. These were mass produced albums uh, that were released out into the marketplace. Um, I'm covering albums today uh, in the 70s and then all the way up to 1990 and I'm going to focus on a mastering house based in Los Angeles called the Mastering Lab. Now the Mastering Lab unfortunately is no longer with us uh, the two main principals of the Mastering Lab were brothers. They were Doug Sachs and his older brother, Sherwood Sachs. The brothers set up shop in Ojai, California, and one of the first mastering jobs that they had was the 1967 debut album by The Doors. Doug Sachs is a legend in the business. He unfortunately passed away in 2015, and after his death, Chad Kasim from Analog Productions purchased all of the Mastering Lab's uh, original analog tube mastering equipment and lathes. They are now housed in Salina, Kansas, and they're part of the Analog Productions facility. Doug Sachs mastered hundreds of well-known titles and I'm going to focus on five today. Again, these are all relatively easy to find, except for one that's getting harder to find and is getting quite expensive. I'm actually going to show today a reissue from Analog Productions of that particular album, but uh, we're going to save that one for last. This is a 1977 James Taylor album, JT and this was mastered by Doug Sachs at the Mastering Lab. It is an incredible sounding album. Of course, the standout hit off of this album uh, was Handyman, and it is one of my favorite James Taylor albums even to this day. I just love the sound quality. Uh, of course, JT had all of the usual suspects with him, including Leland Scar on bass, Danny Korchmar on guitar. There's a little bit of that. This is an original U.S. pressing. This album can be found in bins today for anywhere between $5 and $10, typically. So typically, the Mastering Lab, if you check the dead wax information in the run out groove you're going to see tml and then you're going to find also one of three initials after tml first possibility is going to be m as in master or master lathe another possibility is the letter s which stands for slave or the secondary lathe and then sometimes you may find an X, which is an extra lathe. So at the mastering lab, the guys would have two or three or possibly four lathes going at a time when they're cutting tape into uh, the master. And for this reason, they made a distinction on the actual presser, what was what, where it, where it emanated from. Was it the master, was it the slave, or was it an extra safety? This is Paul Simon's One Trick Pony. It's a soundtrack from the 1980, album, 1980 film um, that I don't actually, I think I remember watching parts of that film as a kid uh, on HBO. My parents had HBO and I remember this thing was playing continuously and I might have tuned in here and there and saw a part of it. Uh, kind of a forgettable film, but the album is fantastic. Um, 
This is famous for the fantastic uh, song Late in the Evening. And I also like uh, One Trick Pony, the title track. Uh, and that's why God Made the Movies. Also a really good song off of Side One. Mastered by Doug Sachs at the Mastering Lab. Easy to find. So the next album we're going to feature is from a famous individual who has long been known in the industry for being a stickler for sound and a little bit of a control freak. So if you think about this individual, he wasn't going to leave the mastering of his debut album that was released in 1982 just to anyone out there. He wanted to go for the best in the business in his mind and that person was Doug Sachs in his opinion. I'm talking about Don Henley and this is the 82 debut by Don Henley, I Can't Stand Still, actually co-produced by Danny Korchmar. You know, Danny Korchmar, longtime uh, session backup player for James Taylor. Uh, he's done some work with Carol King. He's worked with Neil Young. And of course, he's worked with Don Henley. Uh, but this is an incredible sounding debut album. Um, of course, Dirty Laundry, uh, Johnny Can't Read is also a fantastic song. Uh, what else do we have here? The lead track, I Can't Stand Still, is also something that I like. And kind of love that where Henley is looking up from the table. 1982, I Can't Stand Still, Don Henley, mastered by Doug Sachs at the Mastering Lab. So in my first video that I featured about a month ago, 10 easy to find albums with audiophile quality sound, I featured um, the first album that I, I showed during that video was a John Hyatt album. And I've got another one here today to show you. Um, this is, of course, Stolen Moments, mastered by Doug Sachs. This was released in 1990. Um, standout track on this is Real Fine Love. And uh, also, if you look at that hype sticker, um, that'll tell you what else is on there. But uh, Child of the Wild Blue Yonder is another good track. And uh, sounds incredible. Pretty easy to find out there, anywhere between, I'd say, 8 and $15. So the last album I'm going to show was originally released in 1970. Doug Sachs mastered this album um, at the Mastering Lab. And remember, his first major mastering job was the debut album by The Doors. Uh, this album, of course, is L.A. Woman. Now, this is not an original. This is the Analog Productions Acoustic Sounds double 45 RPM LP that just sounds amazing. Doug Sachs and Bruce Botnick, the original producer on the album, actually worked with Analog Productions um, when this was being uh, reissued on an audiophile label. But if you can find the original pressing, uh, it is outstanding as well. Um, the problem out there right now, it's getting tough to find good, clean copies at an affordable price. So that's the only caveat that I'll say in today's video. Uh, this album is a little bit harder to find um, as far as the first or second press. Um, so I actually decided to go the analog productions route and I paid $55 for this and it's worth every penny and the Doug Sachs mastering comes out loud and clear. You know, the thunderstorm on Riders on the Storm, you listen to that on a decent setup and you will be amazed. Um, Equally so, L.A. Woman, it just comes hurtling out of your speakers, and it is a very live, dynamic pressing. That's it. That's today's video covering the Mastering Lab and the legacy that Doug Sachs has out there in the marketplace, in the music business. The guy is a legend. Um, check out 
uh, a Wikipedia page or something on Steve Hoffman forums and you will see a laundry list of, of uh, legendary recordings that Doug Sachs has been a part of, a part of uh, including albums like Who's Next, a series of Pink Floyd albums, lots of stuff by Linda Ronstadt. Hope everyone has a great week and I will see you on the next video. Have a great day.